Big Cow Forever here again. This one's about the inner child and bringing the divine joy and uh, the moment. And I don't even want to talk about it. I just want to <laughs> live it. But this is what I started doing is I started remembering those things I did when I was a kid, like these rocks here. These ones, well, these ones over here are a little better. Just like, like as I'm walking to the store, I'm just like stepping on every rock and just like, like I'm a kid, like playing and having fun. And like the ground is lava. <laughs> like, that's so beautiful. Or I remember when I was a kid, I'd love like balance beams. So I was just connecting with my inner child and like walking, you know? And it's great for you, it's great for your balance. And uh, another thing, like I would always collect pennies that were on heads when I was a kid because they were lucky. Someone told me they were lucky and I was like OCD about it. My socks were like full of, <laughs> pennies my socks were like full of pennies and my parents ended up getting me penny loafers <laughs> and when I started like connecting with this part of myself I kept finding pennies on heads on the ground and it reminded me of me collecting pennies when I was a kid and then I went and saw this band and uh, they gave me a sticker that was a penny loafer with a penny in it on heads. And it was like divine synchronicity in my inner child or my higher self, just like manifesting love for me. Or it's just that divine alignment, right? Because the way I see manifestation is I see it more as alignment. It's, and maybe alignment isn't really true manifestation where we came in this lifetime at a certain time in like cogs in a machine everything would gear up in a line in certain ways that would create the illusion of a manifestation right does that make sense so like another thing I did I'd wake up in the morning I jumped straight out of bed like because I remember being like that when I was a kid I was so excited to wake up and to enter my day a whipped cream can oh oh I can put it on my coffee I got this cool coffee sweet whipped cream for my coffee <laughs> awesome but anyways what was I oh, I jump out of bed, I run to the bathroom, look at myself in the mirror and say, I love you. I love you. And I meant it. And after a while, it lost its effect because you always got to do something different because life loves variety. You can't always eat the same food. You can't always do the same thing for yourself. You know? Remember, I would, uh, I'm from Nebraska. There's a lot of hay bales there like big round ones. They're hard to climb. But I remember climbing them when I was a kid and playing on them with my friends. And so that was another thing I did. I went out in the country and I jumped on hay bales and I was surprised myself. Because as I got older, it was like, God, I don't know if I can climb these things. This is impossible. But when I was a little kid, I was way smaller. I would climb these hay bales all the time. And so it felt amazing jumping on the hay bales and just just playing, that inner child and playing. And when you really think about it, like, if you kind of power project onto the world, like everyone's just playing, you know? Everyone's playing, but it's when you get caught up in your head and you're too serious and don't realize that you're playing, or at least create something in, a, in your life that's worth playing, you know, like, I remember little girls in elementary school playing house. It's like they're preparing themselves for uh, being a mom. And that's another level of play. 
or go to the grocery store and they're playing register or we're playing businessman or we're playing cops and robbers I don't like to play guns in the street though <laughs> that was one thing I played when I was a kid cops and robbers and guns and whoa But I guess all I'm saying about that is not to take things so serious, to have fun. And then that allows you to be serious when you really need to be serious. Because there are serious things in life to deal with. I hope this brings lightheartedness to your day, encourages and inspires you. I hope that you feel my energy and my love radiating to you, to beam you up, to bliss you out, to spiral up and out, or within, as within, as without. I hope you experience divine synchronicity and I hope that and I have faith that you will feel amazing and be in a great mood for the betterment of all sentient beings.